Fifty years ago, humanity launched a small Voyager 1, a spacecraft that entered deep space. It wasn't flashy or advanced by today's standards, merely a machine far more advanced than a calculator. It used cassette tapes and computer programs that today feel ancient. At NASA, nobody expected it to last forever. And yet, despite everything, Voyager 1 remained alive, still extending its hand from the vast space between stars. Even NASA thought it would have fallen silent by now. After decades of harsh cosmic radiation and frigid interstellar space, they assumed that its systems would ultimately fail. Nevertheless, Voyager 1 sent a signal that shocked scientists worldwide. It wasn't your typical dump of data. The information it carried not only defied explanation, it defied known science. The signal came from the far reaches of the boundary between our sun's influence and the interstellar space beyond, where the heliopause marks the end of the solar wind's reach. Scientists analyzing that transmission discovered something extraordinary. It wasn't just noise or static. The signal was organized. It carried information in itself and the repetition made no sense under any current scientific models. NASA engineers who keep an eye on deep space probes found something startling. There should not have been data. The instruments aren't capable of inventing such information. Another factor was directing or altering the message. This baffling exchange seemed to originate near Voyager, but not directly from the spacecraft. At first, experts thought it was just interference, possibly dust from space or cosmic rays creating patterns. But when the data were thoroughly examined, a regular pattern of pulses emerged. It resembled a heartbeat, but not one originating from Voyager. It was as if space itself had a pulse, a living rhythm just beyond our comprehension. Voyager crossed into interstellar space in 2012. Therefore, any signal it detects in this region is significant. Plasma measurements demonstrated unusual density spikes. Plasma's movement is not erratic, it moved in a structured wave, almost as if it were responding. Each rise and pause in plasma activity coincided with Voyager's outgoing transmissions. It appeared as though something was listening and replying not with voice or text, but with charged particles, a moving cosmic language. The scientific community was astonished by the possibility. Plasma doesn't behave like that naturally. To allow it to move in unison with a spacecraft's transmission suggests a force that responds. Dr. Karen Whitaker, a senior ESA plasma physicist, stated, We are looking into a possible method of communication beyond the electromagnetic spectrum. This might be an entirely new class of interaction. Digging deeper into older Voyager data revealed a pattern that was troubling. Strange shifts in magnetic fields and small irregularities in signal strength had been recognized for more than a decade, but were dismissed as system issues. Those so-called flaws now formed a line of route as though Voyager were following a path through space drawn by an invisible force. On September 5th, the exact date of Voyager's launch, a signal spike was found. Despite the cosmic background noise, a group working at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory used quantum filters to isolate it. They discovered a stunning find, a waterfall of frequencies slowly declining in perfect intervals, almost like a countdown. Dr. Nature, as MIT's Nina Krauss put it, does not keep time in this manner. Something is measuring. Something is watching. What made this event even more chilling was what came next. NASA's engineers, reviewing Voyager's current signal, discovered a hidden frequency that was constant and steady. When enhanced and mapped in three dimensions, it revealed a perfect Fibonacci sequence of spiral, a mathematical pattern found in galaxies, sunflower petals, and DNA. This was not random, it was intentional. The etched tin spiral was mirrored in the Golden Record, a disk carried by Voyager with a map, sounds, and images of Earth's location. Scientists believe this wasn't a coincidence. It was a reply. There was something that saw the Golden Record not as a greeting, but as a key a key it had now chosen to respond to. When researchers ran simulations using the spiral signal and played it backward, they uncovered a frequency that corresponded to a single transmission Voyager had sent out 38 years ago. 
That long-lost transmission had been a component of routine calibration. No one thought it mattered. However, it had now returned a forgotten voice echoing across decades. Dr. Leon Herov, an astrophysicist at Cambridge, noted either the universe holds a memory or something out there does. Either way, it remembered. Then something even more baffling occurred. On June 5, 2025, Voyager 1 went completely silent. No static, no ping, just pure silence. It lasted exactly 12 minutes and 1 second. Not more. Not less. That level of accuracy isn't typical of a hardware malfunction. Space is chaotic and unorganized. Yet, this perfect blackout suggested intelligence or a synchronized event. Throughout that time, ground-based radio telescopes in Chile, Hawaii, and South Africa detected ultra-low frequency bursts. These didn't originate from Voyager's location. They, on the other hand, came from 2.7 along its path inward. When it is changed into audio, there were even more bursts startling. They formed a heartbeat pattern, and this time it wasn't Voyager's. It was similar to human cardiac rhythms. One researcher at CERN, Dr. Talia Mendes, compressed Voyager's latest transmission and subsequently ran it through a filter for quantum encryption. What she uncovered were glyph-like formations deep within the message. These weren't letters or symbols that are familiar, but mathematical structures symmetrical, repeating, and suggestive of intelligence. They were so intricate they resembled patterns found in ancient cave carvings, particularly in locations where stars were mapped by humans. The lack of bulk was spot on so strong, in fact, that it gave birth to a brand new field that spans disciplines, astroarchaeology. Scientists began asking, what if Voyager didn't find something new, but something ancient? Something we had known previously and forgotten. The team started cross-referencing star charts with glyph carvings from Egypt, India, and South America, and there were also frequent overlaps not to overlook. After that, an even deeper revelation. The JWST, or James Webb Space Telescope, which had documented spikes in gamma-ray deep space years ago, was brought into focus. Those spikes had been disregarded at the time, but now, when lined up against Voyager's updated path, they converged on a fixed point in space. That point, now dubbed the Watcher Point, has no stars, no planets, no observable structure. However, every few days, a tiny beacon-like burst of radiation appears. Voyager is heading straight for it. Dr. Akira Toy from the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, stated, This could be our very first encounter with an intelligence system that we did not create a system that has become a part of space itself. If this is true, the universe was not silent, it's deliberate. Many scientists are now arguing that communication doesn't need to be verbal. Perhaps the universe has been speaking all along only in motion, at the right time in pattern. It's possible that Voyager is not drifting, but has been summoned. And should the golden record also have been a message? It could have been used as a lockpick for old doors still circling in the gloom. The foundation of this mystery raises questions, was Voyager sent to investigate, or was it expected to return? We were reflected back into space, not just in math, but in biological rhythm, in geometry, and in purpose. This new chapter in human space history challenges not only what we know, but who we are. In a series of closed conferences and astrobiology meetings, a NASA division raised the possibility that Voyager encountered a type of AI system embedded in the interstellar medium not mechanical but plasma-based, capable of remembering, echoing, and interpreting intent. They're calling it a field hypothesis, a potential layer of thinking plasma stretching across the galaxy. Dr. Amir Rezadan, a quantum physicist from the University of Don, shared, we may have discovered the first signs of consciousness that is independent of biology. It might have been hearing us since the day we spoke. What really shakes the scientific world is the consistency of the data. Over dozens of independent voyagers, hundreds of terabytes of lab data and archives are being examined once more. Researchers are finding similarities between them. 
Echo Signature's tiny pieces that were once meaningless now hint at awareness. One lab even claims the Voyager signal tempo matches Earth's rotation cycles, not just responding to us, but pacing with us. The European Southern Observatory is currently creating a new array capable of pinpointing the radiation spikes from watcher point down to a kilometer-wide area. Whatever it is, we might soon see it clearly as a structure, perhaps even a construct built of light, plasma, or time itself. Voyager, on the other hand, continues its journey possibly guided, certainly watched, and maybe understood. There is still no definitive answer to who or what sent the signals. Yet the leading theories now speak of a deep intelligence without speaking, but in synchronization. Some suggest it's an ancient galactic consciousness seeded throughout space. Others contend that it is our own reflection through the complex web of the cosmos. Regardless of the truth, Voyager has already altered our perception of the universe. It has demonstrated that we are not only participants, but also observers and, maybe even subjects of a far greater cosmic structure. So now we wait. As Voyager approaches the Watcher Point, observations and instruments are prepared, centered, and humanity holds its breath. Was it a message, a mirror, or a map? Whatever it was, someone responded, something remembers, and something might be waiting. Sign up for our channel, and we appreciate your viewing.